So again, good morning to all of you. I mean to both of you, John Ray and Jacqueline, as usual. Good morning, ma'am. Mga, mga dahil. Good morning, ma'am. <laughs> mga mga sudyante. So last time we talked about the common terms in poultry management and also um, the breeds and varieties and strains. So usually, um, last time, sorry John Ray, naputol imuhang ano, imuhang sharing. So can you continue your sharing now? Ikaw mo to John Ray, no? Si John Paul Mendes to siya, ma'am. Ay, si John Paul. So, uh, just on time, John Paul. Can you share? Uh, can, naputol mo ito yung sharing. Can you, can you share it again? John Paul, madungog ko ni mo. Wala pa ko si John Paul, ma'am. So, Hindi anyway, or anyway, any of you, chat siya. So anyway, any of you nga namoy namoy manok sa inyo hang ano backyard or naka try na mo og um mag manukan or mag alaga lang og backyard chicken. Naka try na mo? Ano ma'am? Way back in your high school po. So unsa ang breeds na imo hanggi ko an John Ray? Kaila ka? So ano lang to ma'am? Native niya na ay na ay leg, na ay white leghorn. So, uh, usually, ang um, native na to is ginatawag lang atong native na Bisaya. No? Just like atong na-mention na to ng mga natives na ikan sa Kanisha, from Batangas, Panay, Padawan, or ginatawag na lang permintin na to ng Bisaya ng manok ng ikan sa Mindanao. So, do you have, do you have any questions or clarifications regarding breeds of chicken so if none then we'll go to poultry house construction and after that we're going to to watch the first topic on on um, free range uh, chicken management so um although we not a free range no but there but then uh, we still need for poultry house, if we are to into business of larger commercialization, no? this are to protect the birds, especially kung um for lay uh, for layer sha delete sha for um broiler. So this will protect them, of course, from adverse climatic condition and for easy and economic operation as well. And also ensure scientific feeding so meaning efficient talaga siya no controlled manner and facilitate proper micro micro climate climatic condition in the near vicinity of the bird so um kasi too hot too cold is not also good no? for effect and also for effective disease control measures and proper super Vision. So these are just the reason why we really need to have or um, to provide house for poultry. And there are also several types of poultry house. So the brooder or the chick house is used to brood rare egg type chicks from 0 to 8 weeks of age. So ito yung magpapahatch ka. And we also have the grower house. It is used to grow egg type birds from 9 to 18 weeks of age. And then for the brooder comb grower house, where from 0 to 18 weeks of age, so entire brooding and growing period of egg type chicken. So we also have layer house, where in birds over 18 weeks of age are reared, usually up to 72 weeks of age. Uh, and broiler, house in which broilers are reared up to six weeks lang. No? Kasi, iba, ang broiler, pang meat lang man siya, so para hindi masyadong matigas ang meat, so hanggang six weeks lang siya actually, or um, two months, no? I did it. Wala nakabot. Um, for, um, Meron din mo kasi yung iba mo, three weeks lang kasi yung iba mo eh. 
Three weeks lang yung muha dyan, Ray? Yeah, di, di, yung, yung iba pong... Uh, Oo, depende. Di, 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 di. Depende po na sa breed. And breeder house in which both male and female breeders are maintained but with appropriate sex ratio. So kung kung breeding ka ng uh, ng production, so iba din yung breeder house. And we also have the environmental environmentally controlled or easy house in which the entire environment is automatic and manipulated for optimum birds growth. So I have also a video on this to show you on EC. No, parang smart poultry production na siya. So I, it's, it's actually in here if you want to watch, if you want to watch under broiler layer raising, dito ko siya nilagay. Ito yung um, layer chicken farming na ito na siya, ito na video. So as in ma-amaze ka, no? Kasi I don't know, I have not seen this one in the Philippines yet kasi um, not, not before, no? Usually mga conventional is dili man kaya siya automatic. But in Samoa, where where I worked for two years, no, I, I've been to one, it's also one, the only one in Samoa. In this, uh, it's a country in South Pacific. So, ito, yun lang din ang kauna-unahan na nakita ko. But and it's even, uh, when I was there, hindi pa nga yun talaga fully operational. Yung, uh, and but now, it's already fully operational because I've known some, a lot of Filipinos working there. So, I can see the updates. And it's really very amazing. So, going back. So, ang optimal, optimal environmental condition for broilers, for example, they should be within 22 to 30 degrees Celsius. So, sometimes, di ba, mag 40, 50 degrees Celsius ang kainit na to, dere. So, they need actually proper, kung kita gani, magbalay ta, di ba? So, these uh, chickens or broilers also need to have... Um, their own comfortable na environment. And the RH is 30 to 60. And even the ammonia level, no, kasi yun di ba yung kanilang mga kanang iti-iti nila, na mga waste nila, no, is masyadong mabaho. That's why I really don't like. <laughs> Pero but then, um, and they say, last time sa ano ninyo, sa, there are also ways in order to, to lessen na the amoy, no? And it's based on their feeds. And also, when you mix the, like for swine, kanang utangan ninyo siya o katong mga hulls, no? Para mamix ang baho or neutralize or yung, uh, if you are going to um, incorporate kanang carbon no or uh, about ano carbon but something like that so calcium phosphate calcium ano calcium phosphate nam ta tapos yung nakatayong ano kana John Ray yes po ma'am oh very good so can you share your experience John Ray <laughs> next time na po ma'am <laughs> ah, sige, sige. Ma mahiyain pag-apon ka, John Ray. Kita-kita, Roman. Sobra. So, liter moisture, yung kanyang uh, moisture sa kanang liter. <laughs> kanang moisture sa, di ba, sa kanyang waste. So, also, dapat minimum. No? Kasi it, it can cause actually, um, dahil sa baho, di ba, hindi lang siya, what do you call that, um, Pollution sa, iba may time tinatawag na noise pollution and amoy pollution, or I forgot the term. And the airflow also, no, should have at least, kasi have you seen na nga nagkadikit-dikit ng nga mga manok? And it can be shown in the videos anyway. So, they also need an airflow. Kasi usually, in a, in a flock or yung, yung mga birds usually comes with a group. 
So how about the location should be, um, it should be um, located near our, uh, in an, but not near, away pala, in a residential and industrial area. So, kasi because of the pollution, the, the smell, pollution, also yung ammonia and moisture na dala niya. And should have road, of course, facilities, basic amenities like water and electricity, and labor or wages can be uh, can be cheaper. No? But um, at least man lang, no, can compensate the, the, the lifestyle of your laborers. And poultry house should be in an elevated area. Water lagging, kasi can you imagine na lang, no? It should have proper ventilation also, yung air. And yung layout naman, there are few or basic principles to be observed. So the shed should be, have fresh air, and um, first passes through the brooder shed, followed by grower and layer shed. So meron siyang parang Ang shed niya is merong um, system no? from brooder, grower, and layer. And this will prevent the spread of diseases from the layer houses to brooder house. So, uh, mostly sa mga sakit, yung mga maliliit sa brooder, hindi, hindi na sila mahawaan ng mga sakit na matatanda na lang. And minimum distance of 50, 100 feet between chicken shed is also there shed should be a hundred meter the egg store room or office room and feed store room should be near the end can you say Ellen no kasi ba ang joke ni joke lang Ellen ay Helen so this will minimize the movement of people around the poultry shed. Kasi sometimes sa people, it's either mahawaan nila yung ng virus ang mga chicken or sila ang mahawaan ng chicken. No? So, although hindi naman yan talaga nangyayari kasi uh, one rule is that, but then there are cases that is happening. No? Na, na hindi naman talaga usually kung ano ang chicken ng mga, ano ang chicken, ano ang <laughs> Ano ang disease ng mga animals sa animal sa gina? And ano ang mga disease ng mga tao sa tao na gina? But then, who knows, no? Nowadays, it can happen. And it has happened already once. But not really, ve only very rare. No? Not really supposed to happen. So, in disposal pit and sick room should be constructed only. Helen, pakimute. So, ito yung details ng open-sided poultry house construction. The house orientation or the direction. It should be located in such a way that is in the east-west. Of course, you know your east-west direction. Or you can use in your cell phone a... Ano ba tawag doon? Baka na... Compass. Laba mo yung compass na... Inani? Naamo? Naamo. Okay, so you can use that to know exactly where where are you located exactly. If you are like for me, no, I am in the um, 350 degree north. Nasa north ako, sa Talong City kasi ako. So, so usually dapat located siya or facing east-west direction. And you know why? This will prevent the direct sunshine. Direct sunshine over the, bird, the birds. So para hindi siya lang, um, para hindi masyadong exposed sa sun. So ito yung model poultry house. I know you have seen one a lot. And the size consideration also requires two square feet, no? And but depends on the number of birds, of course. 
the length can also be uh, depends on the number of words you know? and also the width you know? usually 20 to 25 feet in order to allow ventilation aeration and um maybe even 40 feet or more to to uh with the help ng exercise so yung height naman niya should be six to seven feet uh, and the center 10 to 12 feet so if nakakay siya depending then sa arrangement whether three pile or four pile and then the floor should be concrete with rat device kasi yung rat uh, usually yun ang problema sa mga kicks no or glider and free from dampness and should be extended 1.5 outside the wall and outside to prevent na rat and snake problems ito yung mga problema for for chicks and chickens and the door of course must be deep litter proofing houses uh, must be open outside the size is preferably 6 by 2.5 feet at the entry dapat merong foot bath so of course you know foot bath yung disinfectant na um Imuhang tumban, no? Kumusulod ka sa door. And fill with disinfectant. So, side walls should be one to 1.5 feet high and generally at the level of the bird's back height. And this side, the side walls should be able to protect the bird during rainy days. Hindi yung matuluan or chill climate kung inaka sa winter. And also provide sufficient ventilation. So, but kung naka-cage house siya, no side wall is needed. So the roof type may also have different designs, no? This may be thatch, tiled, or made up of asbestos or concrete, one depending on the cost, no, na kaya ni mo. So ito yung shed type, the gobble type, uh, monitor type, meron ding half monitor or full monitor. Ito yung full monitor. And the gumbrel, the gothic, and the half, ito yung half monitor. So, yun. And overhang or the, the roof should not be less than 3.5 feet in order to prevent the entry naman ng rain into the shed. So, um, for the assistance of poultry housing, we're gonna take our time because we have a lot of time pa. So, we will continue that next meeting. And we're going to start with the uh, um, management of free-range chickens, farming part one. Okay. So before we proceed, do you have any concerns or questions regarding the structure and designs of the house? Any of you? Yung ganina po, yung sinabi ko po kanina, ma'am. Ano? Yung about po sa, about, yung... Yung pampawala po ng amoy, ma'am. Ah, pagpawala ng amoy. Okay. Mal Mali pa pala yung kalpos ng pan. Yung labs, pa po pala yun, ma'am. Yung lactic acid bacteria serum. Ah, lactic acid bacteria. So, nagamit okay. na siya pang paano ng amoy. Oh, tulay siya na. Thank you, John Ray. Sumula na ang sikreto? Yes po, ma'am. Inhaluan din po yan ng IMO, ma'am. Indigenous wow. microorganism. How then in general? Or, organic na siya, Jan Ray? Yes, yes. Is it like so, Jacqueline? Yung lab. Yung lab to ma'am, yung... Yung... Sabi, sabi saya mo kayo ka nang kinilis ito sa tubig sa kwan ma'am. Kanang sa bugas na ka na magluto ka, kinilis lang. I am and then after, after a week, mag-add lang ka o... One liter na fresh milk. Yun lang po, ma'am. Okay. See you. So, I hope you did share na, you did share that experience sa imuhang lab report. Kasi meron tayong lab report each. And, kung sa inyohang mga, mga, mga knowledge na, prior knowledge, so, ipakishare sa inyohang, sa inyohang lab report. Okay. 
So shall we start now? Hi Kabu Kid, in this video, I'll be featuring the furious chicken as requested by one of our supporter, Kuya Idel. There are certain chicken breeds far better than the others when chickens are allowed to free range. The selection criteria include predator wariness, color plumage, acute vision, foraging ability, and of course, productivity and equality. Here is the top 16 free range chicken breeds in the world by a conduction. This portion is brought to you by Tata Excellence. Yan ang magaling. Living a healthy life is the best foot forward nowadays. And an option for that is going after free range chickens. Ano nga ba ang kailangan tandaan upang magkaroon ng matagumpay na free-range chicken farm? Let's all find out! Para sa housing ng ating mga free-range chickens, kailangan patag ang area kung saan itatayo ang bahay. Kinakailangan din na shaded ang lugar upang makabawas ito sa init ng panahon. Dapat elevated ang housing para mabigyan ng sapat na hangin ang bawat manok sa loob ng bahay. Gumamit ng materyales na available sa inyong lugar tulad ng pawid at kawayan. Siguraduhin malapit din ito sa source ng tubig upang mas mapadali ang maintenance ng kulungan. Dapat ding iwasan ang stress sa ating mga manok na dulot ng ingay sa kalsada. Kaya importante na malayo sa kalsada ang mga kulungan. For the dimensions of your chicken housing, for 100 heads, the approximate size is 100 square meters. The housing must have an ample amount of space or allowance to avoid chickens from overcrowding and suffering from heat stroke. Magtalaga rin ng isang metro na kwadradong galaan. Lagyan ng bakod ang galaan. Para sa mga bagong silang na mga sisiyo, maaring ma-incubate ang mga ito gamit ang gas brooder, charcoal brooder, at incandescent bulb brooder. Ang pag incubate ng mga sisiyo ay ginagawa sa unang araw ng kanilang hatching hanggang sa 15 to 20 days old ang mga ito. Artificial incubators are used at night and also at dawn. Maari rin itong gamitin tuwing may bagyo o malamig ang panahon upang mapanatiling mainit ang katawan ng mga sisiyo. Ang incubation period nito ay 21 days. Madali lang ang pagpapakain sa mga free-range chickens. Hindi ito komplikadong proseso. Ang oras ng pakain sa mga manok ay umaga at hapon. Huwag kakalimutan na importante ang tubig sa mga chicken, lalo na kung mainit ang panahon. Importante ang tamang ratio ng feeders at drinkers para mabigyan ng sapat na pagkain at tubig ang bawat manok. Ang isang feeder is capable of feeding 20 to 25 chicks. Ang isang drinker that is equal to one half gallon can provide water to 10 chicks habang ang one gallon naman ay para sa 15 to 20 chicks. Once they reach maturity, the feeder remains the same but the water dispenser changes. For chickens, planganita is used. Ito ay may harang upang ma-prevent ang paglangoy ng mga manok sa kanilang inuman. Tandaan din na may tamang feeds para sa mga sisiw at sa bawat edad na mga ito. Para sa mga 1 to 21 days old, pinapakain sila ng chick booster. Para sa may edad na 21 to 49 days, chick starter ang para sa kanila. At para sa mature age of 50 to 84 days, broiler finish o mais ang pinapakain sa kanila. 
ang tamang pagsunod sa nakasaad na feeds ay nakatutulong sa maganda at mabilis na paglaki ng ating mga free-range chickens. Para naman sa maayos na maintenance ng kulungan, gumamit ng mga materyales na makikita sa inyong bakuran. Para sa odor-free na sahig na manukan, gumamit ng ipa o carbonized rice hull, gayami, kusot, at buhangin sa ilalim ng kulungan. Ginagamit din ang earthworm manure para matanggal ang amoy sa sahig ng kulungan. Pinababad ang manure sa tubig na may kasamang muscovado sugar at darak for 24 hours. Dahil dito, dumadami ang microorganisms ng earthworm manure na nagsisilbing deodorizer upang pugsain ang amoy mula sa dumi ng mga manok. Palaging bantayan ang kulungan. Kailangang iwasan ang pagkapal ng dumi na nasa sahig upang hindi mag-build up ang amoy at langaw na maaaring magdulot ng sakit. Para naman sa kalusugan ng free-range chickens, gumamit ng iba't ibang gulay at halamang gamot para sa mga pangkaraniwang sakit. Ang sili at bawang ay nagsisilbing antibiotic para sa mga manok. Oregano para sa mga respiratory problems. Ipil-ipil para sa natural na pagpurga. At lemongrass bilang detoxification agent. Para naman sa pagbabakuna ng ating mga manok, Advisable na alamin muna ang peste na mayroon sa inyong lugar. Provide a daily record sa farm upang mabantayan ang kondisyon ng inyong mga alaga. Magiging madali para sa veterinaryo at tagapamahala na matukoy kung may problema sa farm. Ang bawat kulungan din ay kinakailangan ng foot well para maiwasan ang mga unsuspected germs and viruses na dala ng tao galing sa labas. Para sa mga sasakyan, meron din dapat wheel bath located sa gate ng farm. Pinaghalong zone rocks at tubig ang nilalagay sa foot and wheel bath. Madali lang ang pag-aalaga ng mga free-range chickens, lalo na kung may available resources ka sa iyong lugar. Just remember the rule of thumb sa pag-aalaga ng free-range chickens. Keep everything clean and natural. This portion was brought to you by Tatak Excellence. Yan ang maganda. Walang gana. Simple mangyari. Sa limang kutsarita ng biig protina sa bawat isang kilo para sa biig. Tatlo hanggang apat na kutsarita para naman sa inahin. Siguradong baboy ay biig sa katawan, biig pa sa kalusugan. Ang biig protina ay isang feed powder supplement na naglalaman ng... So... I guess that's it you know, for the free range production. So, um, do you have any? So, lahat ng na mention na nakita niyo sa video. You know? So, do you have any questions or clarifications regarding the video presented? Wala naman po, ma'am. Okay, so going back here, so the systems ng Pulte Housing, uh, we still have time anyway. So, the poultry can be housed under different system. So, depending sa availability ng land, cost of land, type of farming activity, climatic condition, of course, since we are in the tropical region, and the labor avail availability, of course. And also, whether free range or extensive system, uh, ito yung mga system, free range ba siya, semi-intensive system or intensive system, whether deep litter system or cage system. So we have actually um, four types, no? I mean, three types. Main system, so sa intensive meron dalawa. So in the free, let's start with the free range system yung napakita natin sa video. So in the free range uh, system is adopted when adequate land, of course, is available kasi free range lang sila, no? And this will uh, ensure desired stocking density by avoiding overcrowding. And we can rear about 250 adults, birds, 
per hectare. So, ganun yun sa free range. So, madami na rin yung 200. Pero, uh, I guess yung 250 adults per hectare ay ang, malaki na masyado ang isang hectarea for that. So, foraging is the major source ng feeding for birds. And the shelter is usually provided only by temporary roofing supported by ordinary poles. So, this system is preferred for most organic egg production. So, kung mag-organic ka, free range yun na siya. Or, kasi, um, it's not definite noon, but um, if nake one hectare to cater more than 250 birds, so that's better for organic na. Ang advantage nito is less capital investment kasi you don't need for a conventional na, na cages or housing. And cost of housing is very minimal. The feed requirements also are lessened because they are for forage or yung feed nila ay galing grassland. And the fertility also of the soil is maintained by their waste no kasi maski aso naman sila ma mangiti however the disadvantages is that the scientific management practices cannot be adapted kasi like yung automatic so uh, automated i mean and automatic is just the same and the eggs are also lost when laid inside the dense grasses so maski aso rapo sila mangitlo so that's one main disadvantage if that's why yung layer ay hindi talaga pwedeng walang housing or cages. No? Unless special nests are provided. And losses due to predatory animals like nga, rats are everywhere, snakes are everywhere, sa isang hectare ba naman, no? And wild birds may also bring diseases unless proper care is taken. So, more, uh, more ano po sila ka ng exposed to more diseases. So, sa semi-intensive system naman, this uh, indicates birds are halfway reared in the house and halfway on ground or range. And birds are confined to houses in night or when needed or necessary and they're also given access to run. So, buyan osahay, osahay, ikulong. And the houses usually are with solid floors and, and while runs are fields only, and the stocking density rate is an average of 750 birds per hectare. And the feeding and watering facilities are provided in the pen. So, sa may intensive, medyo madami ang birds, no? Kumpara sa, sa free range na 250 siya. But actually, for me, it, uh, it can, for a hectare, no? It can cater more. Advantages, mura dyan ka ng naka, naka yung one hectare nga ako ano, naka ng manukan. Well, not me, but my, as I have told you before, yung father ko is really an animal lover. So, pinanganak kasi siya na nasa, nasa farm talaga. Kaya kahit na, he's into, um, kaya kahit nasa deaf edge siya, Parang way of life na talaga niya yung mga manok, yung mga baboy, even baka, no? And syempre dahil Ilocano siya, favorite niya ang kambing. So going back to the advantages, a uh, more economic economical use of land compared sa free range system. Kasi uh, sometimes if you're going to plant, make use of your one hectare. Pero kung halimbawa naman, meron kang 1,000 hectares or 50 hectares, no? Ang dami niya, no? Anahin mo pa yung iba. E di, sa ano na lang yan? Sa mga manok mo. So, but then if you have limited lamb, so, mas economic, no? Kung mag-semi-intensive ka. And protection ng birds from extreme climatic condition also. And, ang bawa, masyadong maulan. So, pag-adlaw na lang ulan, no? Or mag, ano, Laninian na. So, kailangan i-cage naman sila sometimes. And control over scientific operation is some extent possible. No? So, halimbawa na kay i-experiment sa ilahang uh, ano, 
whether organic or conventional way. So, pwede under, under intensive. However, yung disadvantages niya ay high cost for fencing and need for routine cleaning and removal of litter material from the pen. And for the intensive system naman, totally confined talaga sa houses, either on ground floor or on wire netting, floor in cages or on slots. And it is the most efficient, convenient, and economical system for modern poultry production with huge numbers. So ang advantages niya, minimum land is required for farming. So minimum lang, farms can, kung meron, lang ka, meron ka lang 100 square meter, pwede na yan. No? Farms can be located near market area kasi konti man lang, hindi masyadong pollution. Day-to-day -day management, it's also easier kasi mali, uh, nasa cage lang lahat. And the production performance is also a higher as more energy saved due, due to restricted movement. So kung nakakulong sila, yung energy nila is for more, more tataba sila. No? Not really fatty but meaty. And then scientific management, uh, like breeding, feeding, medication, culling, can be applied easily and accurately if they are in one cage. And then the sick birds can be detected, isolated, and treated immediately. Well, the disadvantages are yung welfare naman ng birds, no? kanilang emotional impact is affected. They cannot perform the natural behavior like roosting, spreading wings, no? Uh, even, uh, mas hindi na sila maka-fly, but sometimes they also fly yung minimal lang. Scratching the floor with legs is very important for their social activities also. And they, if they are not exposed to outside sunlight and feed sources, all the nutrients should be provided in balanced manner to avoid nutritionally deficient diseases. And chances for spreading of diseases are also more no, in this. So for the deep litter system, we will continue next week because it's uh, less than a minute only. No, but this is, I guess, yeah, we still have a cage system and the types of cages. So we will continue this next meeting. Grower cage. Ayan. And then we will going to talk about brooding of chicks. But before we, we, we also have a lot of videos on um, yung layer before we talk, take up brooding. No? So, ito yung mga system. So, do you have any questions or clarification before we end? Jacqueline? Um, 